po. Yes, a shout out to Mom Michelle. Hello, Sir Mike. Hello, Sir John. Yes, nawa ako ganina kay. Um, uh, hindi, uh, hindi ako marunong mag-switch ng camera. Kaya, eh, tapos hindi ko na-switch sa OBS, kaya ganun. Ganang gabi po, teacher talag. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Yes, kumusta ang exam kahapon? May uh, June taker ba dito? Yes, okay. So, hindi pa ako masyadong marunong kaya mag explore pa muna ako. At magpapaturo pa kay Sir Melvin. Opo. Sir Ryan, Sir Harleen, Sir... Uh, yes, uh, I mean Sir Harleen, uh, Miss Harleen, Ma'am Harleen. So, kumusta po yung exam kahapon? Ang daming feedback kay Sir Melvin na... Uh, um, lumabas daw lahat ng drills ni Sir Melvin. Tama ba yun? Good evening. Good evening, LPTs. Yakang-yakaw daw ang Prof. Eda Jan Ed sa major. Sobrang mahirap. Ma'am Tala. Kahit nag-abisa na ako, nanood pa din ako sa inyo. Yes! Yes, Sir Ryan. Ganyan talaga. Um, once a teacher, always a student. Maganda exam ko. Ah, I see. Powerful talaga tong mga words ni Sir Melvin na lumalabas lahat. Congratulations po sa inyo. Hindi na po kayo, uh, hindi na po sasakit ang ulo niyo. <laughs> Kami na naman sa susunod, sa September. Yay! Kaya ikiklaim na natin yan. LBTs. Okay. Yes. All right. So sa mga nanunood ngayon, magandang gabi. Tapos na ba kayong maghapunan? Um, ang live natin ngayon ay sa prof professional education. Okay, so magsimula na tayo. Ayan. So, professional education, let review drills with Teacher Tala Let TV. Thank you so much for always watching on my YouTube channel. Excited, excited na, excited na. Uh, pagkatapos ng, uh, uh, dahil nung nabasa ko yung mga feedback na pinopost ni Sir Melvin sa Facebook, Facebook niya, parang gusto ko na rin mag-exam. <laughs> Para mawala na lahat yung pressure. G-I-R-P, Papa E, Robert Gagne. Wow. <laughs> okay. Lahat, okay. Yes, ma'am, super duper motivated sa mga salita po ni Sir. Ganda ng mga padrills. Yes, ang mga drills at motivation ni Sir Melvin talaga yung, yung sandata eh. Hindi pa. Okay. Okay, so um, magsimula tayo sa professional education. Um, uh, yung iba rito uh, sa mga drills na ni Sir Melvin last time. At wala kasi ako masyadong ginagawa, kaya tinitake note ko. Tapos, narealize ko... I, um, i pepper sand ko na lang din sa PowerPoint para mas, mas share ko din sa inyo, di ba? Okay. So, professional education, let review drills. Let's start. Habang maaga, um, dapat handang-handa na tayo, September takers. Magtatap tayo, okay? <laughs> okay, let's start. Um, Let's start with the historical foundations of education. Ano nga ba yung um, mnemonics natin dyan? With Sir Melvin. Pogo, di ba? Pogo. P-O-G-U. Pogo. Huwag niyo sabihin nakalimutan niyo agad, teachers. Yes, okay. Tama, ma'am. That's right. Ano nga yung P? P is for primitive. And O is for orientals. G is for Greeks. U is for utilitarianism. That's correct. Okay, now, mag-drill tayo um, bawat isa sa kanila. Primitive, Orientals, Greek, 
and utilitarianism. Let's start with number one, which is primitive. Ano nga ba? Oh my gosh. Ano nga ba yung um, tatandaan natin sa primitive? Survival. Survival of the fittest. Yes, Mr. Dave. Orientals, Greeks, utilitarianism, and primitive. Okay, and um, ano yung philosophy natin dito sa primitive? Philosophy. Essentialism. Very good, Sir Ryan. Okay, that is essentialism. Yes, survival by Spencer. Survival of the fittest by Spencer. Survival and conformity. Yes. Okay. How about for number two? We have Orientals. So, so Orientals, um, may apat tayong um, mga lugar dyan, di ba? Um, may, maka, may nakakatanda pa ba? May na, yes. Natatandaan niyo pa ba? So, Orientals, ano yung apat na lugar? Civilization start po. Orientals, yes. The start of civilization. That's correct. Oriental. China. Chinese. Yes, China, Mesopotamia. Sumerian. Sumerian is under Mesopotamia. Egypt. And the last one is... How about the fourth one? India. Very good, Mom Jessica. Okay, so we have Mesopotamia, China, Egypt, and India. Okay, now mag-drill tayo bawat isa sa mga civilization. Sa Yes. Let's start with um, land between two rivers. Ano or what is the land between two rivers? These two rivers are um, known as known as twin rivers. Mm -hmm. Ano nga ba yung land between two rivers? It is Mesopotamia. Ano yung, anong pangalan ng dalawang rivers? Or what are those? What are those rivers? Tigre, Tigris and Euphra, Euphrates. Euphrates. Okay, Tigris and Euphrates. Okay, that's correct. Ingris. That's Tigris, Mama April. Okay, we have Tigris and Euphrates. So, ano yung system of writing nila? Yes, recorded po ito, Ma'am Leia. So, system of writing writing in Mesopotamia. Cuneiform. Very good, Sir Ryan. And um my ano, my instinct talaga ako na si Sir Ryan magta-top to. <laughs> Cuneiform. Okay, that's right. Cuneiform. The spelling is like that. Pero hindi hindi naman tayo magbabasi sa spelling. <laughs> Wala namang spelling siguro sa board exam. Okay, cuneiform. So, ano yung modern name of Mesopotamia? Ano yung ano ang Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia ngayon? Okay, may nakakaalam ba? Modern name of Mesopotamia? Iraq. Very good, Mom Shira. Okay, that is Iraq. And how about for Iran? Ano naman yung ancient name ng Iran? Okay, Mom Honey Let, um, Iran, uh, Mesopotamia is Iraq. Okay. And lahat yung iba nakakasagot. Oh, Mom Shira again. Persia, that is correct. So, Iran, ancient name for Iran is Persia. That's correct. Okay, now, anong system of writing ng China? That is calligraphy. Very good. Next, what are the two rivers in China? The start of civilization ng China. Two rivers. They are Huanghu and Yangtze River. Is that how you pronounce Yangtze? Yangtze. Yangtze. Okay, next. A caste system. Oh, sa anong um, lugar yan? 
caste system. That is India. <laughs> Wang Huyan si Hia, hilap ng spelling. Buti na lang sa board exam, walang spelling. So, Ryan, no? Wang Huyan si Wang Hu and... Okay, that's correct. Caste system is India. Next, anong system of writing ng India? We have from the word India, India in the script. In the script. Next, river in India. Indu, Indus River. Okay, so ang daling, uh, ang daling ma-memorize yung sa India kasi may IND. <laughs> Indus script and Indus River for the river. Nasaan kaya si Sir Melvin ngayon? Na nandito ba si Sir Melvin? Sir Melvin, nandiyan ba kayo? Okay, next. We have Egypt, of course. Ano ba yung, nasa, ano ba yung tatanda natin sa Egypt? Ano tatanda natin sa Egypt? We have the Nile River. Okay, sa Egypt, yun yung uh, um, river sa Egypt ay ang Nile River. Uh, ano ang system of writing ng, na, uh, ng Egypt? We have hieroglyphics. Hiero, hieroglyphics. <laughs> okay, next. We have number three. Sa number three naman, nandito tayo sa Greeks. So Greeks, um, uh, actually Greeks are com uh, I mean the Greeks is composed of twelve city states. Pero ang um, um i discuss ng lang natin ngayon or or i did drill natin ngayon ay yung dalawa lamang yung dalawang city states which are very good, Mr. Ryan, Sparta and Sparta and Athens, Sparta and Athens. Now um i did drill natin or Papa, uh, hahanapan natin ng mga let questions itong dalawang to. Okay, let's start. A city state that implements military training. Military training. That is Sparta. Very good. Next, patalinuhan. Okay, patalinuhan. That is Athens. Oh, by the way, uh, military training is for Sparta. How about the military traditions? Military traditions. Military traditions. That will be Mesopotamia. Military traditions, Mesopotamia. Milita military training is for Sparta. So, wag niyo pong um, i, ano yun, i re reverse or uh, babalik balik tayo. Interchange, I mean. Okay, next. Sciences and mathematics. Still Athens. Palakasan, of course. May nag-mention na kanina si Ma'am Catherine. Sparta daw is Palakasan. Okay, Greeks is believed to be strong because of its, of its what? Of its city-states. Okay, the Greeks is believed to be strong because of its city-states. Now, let's go to the last one. Okay, yes, that's right, Mom Catherine. Military traditions, that's Mesopotamia. Military training, that's Sparta. Oh, wag po kayong, um, ano ba yung nagli... Uh, wag po kayong maguluhan, Sir Jester. Okay, um, ulit-ulitin niyo lang po itong video to para malinawan po kayo at, at saka para hindi na kayo um, maguluhan sa dalawang yan. Military training and military traditions. Okay, now let's go to the last, um, the last for our mnemonics, Pugo, the U, that is for utilitarianism. Ano ba yung utilitarianism? From the word util, util, utilize or use. Okay, anong lugar dyan? Romans. Grabe, wala talaga akong alam. Ngayon, alam mo na, Ma'am Monisa. Don't worry. Um, nagsimula naman tayo lahat sa, sa adyan, di ba? Wala tayong alam noon. Pero ngayon, oh, tingnan mo si Sir Ryan. Ang galing-galing na. Okay. So, utilitarianism, that's romance. Okay. Now, uh, sino ang sikat sa utilitarianism? Sino ang sikat sa utilitarianism? That is... Romans, very good. Next, use. Of course, that's from the word use, utilitarianism. Greater good for greater number of people. Greater good for greater number of people, utilitarianism pa rin. 
Yes, thank you po, ma'am, dahil po sa inyo ni Sir Malvin. Walang anuman po, pero um, product lang din ako kay, ni Sir Malvin. <laughs> Kaya dahil talaga yan kay Sir Malvin lahat. Okay, yes, um, blessing talaga sa atin si Sir Malvin. So, which is believed to be the cradle of civilization? So, sino makakasagot nito? Which is believed to be the cradle of civilization? That is... Mesopotamia. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Mesopotamia, which are the which we can find the twin rivers Tigris and Euphrates. Euphrates. Okay. Next, oldest epic of the world. Hindi ko na sagutan to nung nagdrill kami ni Sir Malvin. Sino ba yan? Si oldest epic of the world. That is epic of Gilgamesh. Very good, Mom Shira. Okay, now punta naman tayo sa powers of the teacher. So, drill din namin to ni Sir Malvin, pero ang tagal na nun, I think that was 2019 if I'm not mistaken. Powers of the teacher, ang ang payat-payat pa namin doon. Ang payat-payat pa ni Sir Malvin doon. <laughs> okay, powers of the teacher. Ano-ano nga ba yung powers natin, teachers? Ano-ano yung mga powers natin? Sige nga, tingnan natin. Expert power, reward, referent, and coercive. Wow, that's great. Mom Shira, expert, referent, reward, and coercive. Legitimate power, expert power. Yes, okay. Now, um, let's drill. Let's find a board exam questions regarding those, um, those powers of the teacher. Okay, let's start. Teacher, si teacher master of the topic. Si teacher, master of the topic. Okay, teacher, master of the topic. That is expert. Very good. Next, consensus or agreement. That is, that is referent. Very good. Next, importance of grades. Importance of grades. The teacher always reiterated the importance of grades. That will be rewards. Very good. Mom Shira. Wow. Mom Shira. Okay, next. Nagagalit si teacher pag sinabihan ng estudyante. Kasi si teacher lang ang tama. Sino yan? Si? Si? Coercive. Coercive power. Very good. Wow. Okay. Coercive power. Okay. Legitimate power. Actually, may nag-mention may nag, uh, kanina ng legitimate power. Yun yung um, teachers act as uh, in loco parentis. You know, they are the second parents of the kids in the school. Second parents. They're the parents in school. Mahalagang grades, reward power. Yes, that's correct, Mom Catherine. Okay, now let's go. Um, sino ang proponent ng modeling? Sino ang proponent ng modeling? That will be... Bandura, very good. That's correct. Next, ways on how to direct learning. Okay, May iba-iba tayong ways on how to direct learning. We have, ano-ano ba yung mga ways on how to direct or uh, how direct how to direct learning or on directing learning. Meron tayong peer learning, modeling, independent, and guided practice. Okay, now maghanap tayo ng mga board exam questions regarding these ways. Now, let's start. Si teacher gumagawa, si student nanunood lang. Okay, good evening, Mom. Na late jo gumam. It's okay, Mom Mary Grace. Modeling, very good, Mom Sh Mom Mom Grace, Mom Grace. Okay, next. Demonstration, ano yan? Modeling, parin. Next, si student gumagawa alone. Yes, si student gumagawa alone, alone from the word alone, independent practice or independent learning. I'm sorry, independent practice, independent learning. So, 
uh, nangyayari ang demonstration sa klase ni teacher kapag delikado yung gagawin, especially for science experimentations, like uh, science experiments, like yung mag-hold ng um, burner, di ba? Um, delikado yun, especially for kids. So, for elementary. So, dapat uh, demonstrate, dinidemonstrate lang ni teacher. Okay, now let's continue. We have collaborative learning. Collaborative learning that will be peer learning. Or independent or discovery learning. Yes, very good, Mom Catherine. So, the student discovers his or her own learning. So, by practice, by practice. Next, assisting the student. Assisting the student, that will be from the word assist, that is guided practice. Guided practice. Ikaw lang talaga pwedeng gumamit if delikado. Yes, that's correct, Mom Catherine. Guided. Good job. Good job, teachers. Next. Uh, so, first day of classes. Anong dapat tatandaan ng isang teacher? First day of class. Dapat si teacher on the first day of class... Routine. Very good, Mom Shira. The teacher shall set routines or the classroom rules. Set the rules. Very good. Next. Pwede bang juwain ng estudyante? Pwede bang juwain ng estudyante? Um, I remembered when, that was a long time ago, when I saw this uh, Facebook post. I'm. It's also a let page. Yeah. Um, may nagde-debate talaga hindi daw. Pwede. Pero pwede daw. Okay, may nag... Okay, may nag... Um, so may sumasagot. Si Ma'am Shira, yes daw. Ma'am Hanilat, yes. Yes, oh, pwede. Okay, so majority, majority sa inyo naniniwala na yes. Basta, of course, according to the Code of Ethics, um, stipulated in PRC 435, yes daw. As long as the relationship is fully discreet, and the student is 18 years above. Very good as long as hindi nila public tapos ibang school. Mm, iba, ibang school ba? I don't know. Parang, parang pwede naman kahit same school. Pero dapat 18 years above and fully discreet yung um, relationship nila. Okay, next. Assessment of learning. Okay, bumalik tayo sa assessment of learning. Kasi nung nag-drill tayo sa assessment of learning last time, um, masyadong maliit lang yung um, na na-cover natin sa assessment of learning, which in which yung assessment of learning actually is a really, really wide topic. So now let's try to um, look for board exam questions. Okay, kinds of assessment, of course, may tatlo tayo dyan, which is alternative, authentic, and traditional. Okay, traditional, alternative, and authentic. Now, magbigay tayo ng let questions. Paper, pencil. That's traditional, of course. Next, performance task. Alternative. Oh, how about portfolio? Portfolio. Portfolio is also in alternative. Realia. That's Authentic. Okay, dito si portfolio alternative. Hindi natin nakasali si portfolio last time. Kaya binalik ko yung assessment. So, sa portfolio, may dalawang klaseng portfolio tayo dyan, di ba? May showcase and developmental. Showcase and developmental. Ano ba yung kaibahan ng showcase portfolio and developmental portfolio? Ano bang kaibahan? Okay, so mag-drill tayo dyan. Mag-drill tayo. Best outputs ng bata. Isagot nyo lang kung showcase or developmental. Showcase to work. Okay, best outputs ng bata. San makikita yan? Sa showcase or sa developmental? Very good. Best output, Miss Us. I mean, Sir, Sir Dave. Sir Dave, that is showcase. Okay, from pangit to maganda. Uh, nilalagay talaga, hindi lang yung best outputs ng bata, but nilalagay tala talaga from the first, from the first try of the student, especially when he's still learning to write, uh, 
teacher, i-download ko na lang po ito. Okay, pangit kayo kung signal. God bless you po. Okay. Okay, Mama Mary Grace. So, uh, uh, nagsisimula pa yung bata magsulat. Ang pangit-pangit pa na yung sulatin niya, ng sulat kamay niya, pero hanggang sa nag-improve. So, that of course, from the word improve or process, the process of writing that is developed mental. Next, assessment most reliable for seeing the development of the student's ability to write. That is portfolio assessment. Portfolio assessment. Okay. Now, pumunta naman tayo sa psychology effects. Ano, ano ba yung uh, ano ba yung mnemonics ni Sir dito? Sir Melvin, psychology effects. Ang uh, mnemonics niya dito ay si RR at Golem kumain ng halo a uh, halo howlo. Holo. Holo. <laughs> I don't know. Si R.R. at Golem kumain ng Halo Holo. So, may nakakatanda pa ba kung ano-ano ang mga psychology psychology effects na ito? Okay, Ma'am Shire Rosenthal, very good. How about the next R? Very good. Ma'am Shire pa rin. Ripple. Ripple effect. Okay. Actually, um, according to science, mnemonics can um, stimulate uh, effectiveness of memory or memory retention in your brain. So, ang galing talaga ng mnemonics. So, we, let's say thank you to Sir Melvin. Dahil, um, he's really taking the time to make mnemonics for, to, make, uh, to make it easy for us. Okay, ripple effect. Okay, Golem, Mom, Mom Shaira pa rin. Okay, Golem, what else? See, si Halo effect. And see, si Hothern. Hothern. Is that Hothern? Okay. Now, tingnan natin ang kaibahan ng bawat isa. Mag-drill tayo. Okay? Mataas ang expectation, kaya mataas ang performance ng bata. Ano yan? That is, that is Rosanthal. 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 Very good. Next. Yung opposite niya. Ano yung opposite ni Rosenthal? Ano ba yung opposite? Kung mataas ang kay Rosenthal, mababa ang, ang, ang effect na ito. So, mababa ang expectation, kaya mababa din ang performance ng bata. Very good, Mom jo Julie. That is Golem. Golem, mababa ang expectation, kaya mababa din ang performance ng bata. Next, general impression. Ano yung general impression? Or... Uh, that's the first impression from the word, imp I mean impression. Pag my word impression. Impression. Okay, that's halo. Very good. Halo. Escalating. Escalating. So, nag, uh, nag, um, nag misbehave yung isang bata. Tapos, kasi hindi mo in-intervene, in hinayaan mo lang teacher. Hanggang sa lahat na lang ng, ng mga bata sa yung klase ay nag misbehave na rin. Okay, that's correct. Rip ripple effect. Ripple po, escalating. Very good. That is ripple effect. Next, first impression, of course, that's halo pa rin. High performance because observed by the teacher. High performance. Oh, nandiyan si teacher. Dapat, mag dapat galingan natin. Dapat galingan natin yung pagwawalis dito. Kanin. So, ano yan? High performance because observed by the teacher. That's Hawthorne. Very good, Sir Ryan. Okay. Tapos yung last po yan, Hawthorne. Very good. Okay. Next, ano to? RHP Vedco Sire. RHP Vedco Sire. Okay, that's right. This is from Edgar Dales. Edgar Dales. Yes, okay. Oh, sinasagutan na nila kung ano yung meaning ng ating acronym or ng mnemonics natin. So, very good. That's reading, hearing, photos, videos, ex exhibit, um, demonstration, contrived, simulation, and, 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 and real thing. So, Yung GIRP Peppa E kay Robert Gagneon. Read her here. Picture or photos, videos, exhibit, field trip, simulation, 
A demonstration muna simulation real thing. Haha, <laughs> mali. Okay. Good job, teachers. Okay lang magkamali. Wala pa na, hindi pa naman tayo nag- mag-take. Kaya lang, bawal na magkamali sa, sa day ng exam, of course. So, now, let us drill. Uh, I mean, mag-question tayo sa mga, 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 ano to? Uh, levels? Levels of learning? Ba, ba to? Okay. So, ito ang the cone of learning. I see and I forget. I hear and I remember. I do and I understand. That's from Confucius. Okay, so 10% sa kapag nag-read daw ka, 10% uh, mariretain mo. 20% naman kapag na, naririnig mo. 30% kapag nakikita mo. Sa photos yan, photos. Uh, videos, mom, saan ba yan? Um, 30% or 50? 50, of course, because you see and hear it. Nakita mo yung pictures, yung video, at na, narinig mo rin, of course. And 70% of what we say, that is for um, discussion, giving a task, or like um, workshop. Uh, so workshop, 90% of what we say and do. Okay. Hands-on workshop. Next, which involves more senses, exhibit or demonstration? More senses, demonstration. Wow, Ma'am Catherine. Okay, that's correct. Next, demonstration. Yes, that's correct. Demonstration is, uh, it involves more senses than the exhibit. Kasi mas mataas yung, uh, mas mataas siya kaysa sa exhibit. Okay, next. Near to real thing. Near to real thing. Ano ba yung malapit na sa real thing? That will be simulation. Next, authentic. Authentic, that is? Okay, realia is authentic. Authentic is? Is real thing. Of course, real thing. Yes. Next, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Oh, the, pro- the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Ano ba to? Ano ba to? Ano bang uh, level to? Real thing. Real, yeah. Authentic. Authentic. Very good. That is authentic. That's correct, Sir Ryan. Okay. Now, padprefo. Padprefo. Ano ba to? Padprefo. Anong mnemonics to? San to? Lumabas yan, ma'am. Oh, really? Sir Ryan, authentic yung the uh, the proof of pudding is in the eating. Eating. Okay. Actually, kay Sir Melvin na uh, mga drills to um, kinukuha ko. Yes, very good. That is for assessment for learning. That's correct. So, done before and during the instruction. Yung uh, assessment for learning, it's done before and during the instruction. So, ini-implement mo to, hindi ka patapos sa, sa instruction. Wow. Okay, that's great. Sana lumabas din to next time. Okay, so um, bigyan natin ng meaning tong mga anong mnemonics natin. Okay, pad P for placement, A for aptitude, D for diagnostic, pre for pretest, fo for formative. Formative. Very good. Periodical test. Periodical test actually is for is for assessment of learning. Okay. Ang P dyan is placement. Ma'am Catherine. Yes, placement dyan. Iyo, ano ba yung placement? Oh, tingnan natin yung mga questions. Yung kaibahan ng apat. Apat ba yun? One, two, three, four, five. Lima pala. Okay. Uh, let's start. Sectioning. Sectioning, ano yan? Yes, Ma'am Catherine. Yes, that's correct. Placement. Sectioning, ano yan? That's placement. Very good. Quiz. Ano ba yung quiz? Quiz. That is? That is, that's formative. Very good, Mom Hanileth. Okay, formative. Next, certain area of knowledge. Minimeasure mo lang yung isang area ng knowledge ng isang bata. Ano yun? Oh, example formative, lumabas po yan. Wow, so Ryan, thank you so much sa feedback. That's aptitude. Very good, Miss uh, Miss Shaira, Mom Ethel, and lahat sila. Okay, good job. Next, before the exam, oh, ginagawa ni teacher before the exam, 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Before the exam, that is pre, pre test, pre from the word before. Pre-test. Next, weaknesses and strengths. What kind of assessment or what kind of test is this when you're going or when you try to determine the weaknesses and strengths of the, the students? Diagnostic. Very good, Mom Catherine. That's correct. Next, mastery drills. O ano tong mga drills? Drills. That is... Okay, formative pa rin. Formative assessment. Mastery drills. Okay. Na, itong ginagawa natin, this is formative. Nagre-review tayo. <laughs> is this formative? Okay. Next. Assessment of learning. So, tapos na tayo sa assessment for learning. Pumunta naman tayo sa assessment of learning. Assessment of learning is known or is actually an integral, integral part of teaching and learning process. Hindi talaga itong mawawala. Bakit? Kasi tinitest nito kung na-achieve ba ng students or na-achieve mo ba sa teacher yung learning outcomes. Na-achieve ba ng students yung learning outcomes mo. Okay? So, done after, this is done after instruction. So, ano-ano ba yung mga examples nito? We have let, ano pa, let periodical exams, ano pa, unit test, national achievement test and any kinds of test or any types of test na after instruction na ginagawa okay that's let yes okay now it is a summative summative then very good ma melanie okay an integral part of the teacher learning process. That's assessment of learning. Okay. Now, tapos na tayo sa assessment. Pumunta tayo sa subcategories of teacher movement or the movement management. management. Ano-ano ba yung mga subcategories of teacher? Subcategories. Nandun, nandun yun si? Sino-sino yun? Sino-sino nga ba yun, teachers? Sina dangling, sina um thrust, proximity control, very good. Um, ano pa yung truncation, si overlapping, over over dwelling, and and more. Okay. Tapos mag um uh, tingnan natin kung ripple effect mo mabas po. Wow. Thank you so much, Sir Ryan. Okay. Now tingnan natin kung kaya yung um. Uh, tingnan or ka kaya niyong alamin yung kaibahan nila. Flip-flop. Very good, Sir Jester. Okay, let's start. Proceeding without assessing. So, nag-proceed na, -proceed, na, -proceed na, uh, na immediately si Sir Sir, uh, si Sir, si Sir or si Ma'am. Ano yan? Thrust. Very good. Very good, Ma'am Catherine. Next. Hanging activity by giving another. Hindi pa tapos yung activity. Nagbigay naman siya agad ng other activity. Ano yan? Ano yan? Ano yan? Hang activity by giving another activity. That is? That is? That is? That's correct. That is dangling. Oh. Oh. Walang na... Oh, walang na. Hanging activity. Giving another dangling yan. Si Mom Renee. Uh, sir? Sir Renee. Okay. Next. Leaves activity abruptly. Leaves activity abruptly. That is, that is truncation. Truncation. So, hindi tinapos. Next. Returns to a left activity while currently doing an activity. So, nagpabalik-balik si teacher. Okay. Hindi pa siya tapos sa activity na to, magpagawa pa siya ng iba, tapos bumalik na naman siya. That's flip-flop. Very good, Mom Joani. Mom Joani and Mom Shira. Okay, next. That's flip-flop. Okay, so next. Distracted. Distracted si teacher. Ano yan? Distracted si teacher. That is... Stimulus bound. Very good, Mom. Shira, stimulus. Stimulus bound to teacher. Next, over time in one topic. One topic tapos nag over time si teacher. <laughs> ano yan? Overlapping? Mm, hindi, parang hindi naman overlapping. 
That is overdwelling. Very good, Mom Jessica. Overdwelling. Next, multitasking results negatively. Negatively. Okay, multitasking. The multitasking very good. Over overlapping. Yan overlapping. Okay, parang nagdi-delay yung mga messages. Anyway, tapos na tayo dyan. Pumunta naman tayo sa aims of eras. Parang last na lang to. Last na, lang, last na slide na to. Aims of eras. Okay, let's start with the pre-Spanish era. Ano ba yung, ano ba yung aim ng education during the pre-Spanish era? Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung aim ng education during the pre-Spanish survival? Very good. Primitive. That's correct, Ma'am Rielin. Primitive. That is survival and conforming. Survival and conformity. Conformity. Sabi, uh, uh, it's like the, yeah, the essentialism, the philosophy. Yung mga, yung mga babae uh, pina, pinapasok sa school, only to know how to read and write. Pagkatapos dyan, kapag, uh, I think grade 3, um, uh, hindi na sila, uh, uh, ano, they're not allowed to go to school anymore kasi yung mga babae daw is they have to to do the household chores pa rin naman kapag lumaki sila. Kaya what's, what's, the, what's the need for going to for going to school? So that is conformity. Conformity of the, the culture. Culture conformity. Next, Spanish. Ano ba yung aim ng, era, ng Spanish era? Aim of education during this Spanish era? Okay, Spanish religious education, public system. Public system, I think it's not in Spanish. Kasi nung um, Spanish era, hindi naman, hindi, hindi lahat, hindi lahat allowed or permissible to go to school. Yes, uh, sabi kasi nila, Sir, J Sir Dave, sabi kasi nila na ang role ng, lang ng babae, mga anak at mag-alaga. So that's why, yun yung um, paniniwala ng ancient natin, ancient Filipinos. Or, yes, that's the pre-Spanish. Yeah. So Spanish, of course, religion. Religion or Christianity. Christianity, religion. Next, American. Sa American, American, and dito yun ang, ang, Demo democratic ideals and way of life. Democratic ideals and way of life. And also, we have the Commonwealth. Yes. Yes, that's correct. So, uh, Mom Shire, yes, public school. Americans, I mean, public school system that is in um, American era. Commonwealth. Ano naman yung aim of education sa Commonwealth? Commonwealth nationalism. Mm. Commonwealth. I think that's still American nationally. Okay. Nationalism. That is moral character and efficiency. Okay, moral character and efficiency, civic. Okay. Okay, next, the Japanese. Ano naman yung aim of education ng Japanese? That is that is the the vocational course, the tech voc. Tech uh, the progress, I'm sorry, progress. Progress through work. Okay, kaya yung mga Japanese ang napakasipag nila. Ang sipag-sipag ng Japanese kasi and they also taught at taught us that way. Vocational, that's correct. Labor, very good. Mamriri and Chippy. Okay, now let's try to uh, look for other board exam questions. Public school system, that's American. Nationalism, that's American. I'll still, I will still try to um, confirm if American ba nationalism or Commonwealth. Love for labor, very good. They also taught us the love for labor. Labor, very good, labor. Okay, and I think tech voc, of course, that's tech voc, that's Japanese. Okay, and I think that's that's the end for our live live drills today. Thank you so much, teachers. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and also visiting the Teacher Tala La TV channel. And wag po kayong magsawang uh, manood. 
American po national. Okay, American is nationalism. So, but still, I'm going to try to. I'm sorry. <laughs> May lamok dito. Okay. Mapasok na yung mga lamok. Thank you. You're welcome po, teachers. And I'm reviewing. I'm actually hitting two stones. I mean, two birds with one stone. I'm also review because I'm also a taker, September taker. So I'm reviewing. And while I'm reviewing, I can't really focus just by reviewing by myself. So I want to... Yeah, so this is actually really nice. I like to actually discuss with my friends, with my group. Thank you, ma'am. First time ko pa dito. Salamat po. Wow, thank you so much, Sir Dave, for visiting here in my channel. Yes, thumbs up then. Yes, don't forget to subscribe and hit the not uh, notification bell para uh, sa susunod na live ko, updated po kayo. Thank you so much. Yes, this is actually a really nice, really nice uh, review discussion, review drills, not It's not actually discussion. Kung, uh, kung naghahanap kayo ng discussions, yung content talaga, um, pumunta po kayo kay Sir Melvin Buracho Corner sa YT niya. Y yun yung YT channel niya. Thank you so much and good evening, teachers. Okay, yes, more pa tomorrow. Baka tomorrow mag-gen ed tayo. Ma let's focus on the vocabularies. Good luck, LPT for September examination. Yes, good luck, September takers, and good luck sa June takers. Um, really amazing, no? Uh, Mag-aantay na lang kayo ng result. Yay! <laughs> Wala nang pressure. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. I I'm really glad to help. Mom Regina. Okay, good night, teachers. Bye!